Let's take a side-by-side -side look at the ANET E10 and the Creality CR10. Let's see how they match up. The trend of large open aluminum frame, low-cost 3D printers has exploded. And now there's a lot of different size options and price points. The printer that started this all is this one, the Creality CR10. After the CR10 caught on, ANET released a very similar printer called the E10. The E10 is probably the most affordable printer in this list of CR10 copies. Let's see how the copy matches up to the original. Let's start by taking a quick look at the specs on both these machines. The E10 has a 220 by 270 by 300 millimeter build volume, a heated bed, comes with a part cooling fan, an MK8 Bowden style extruder, aluminum extrusion frame, a sidecar electronics box, a full LCD display, and costs right around $280 US. The CR10 has a 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter build volume, an aluminum heated bed with a glass sheet on top, a part cooling fan, an MK8 Bowden style extruder setup, an aluminum extrusion frame, sidecar electronics box, a full LCD display, and the cheapest I've seen it is around $370 US. Let's start with price. Again, the cheapest that I've ever seen a CR10 was right around $370 US. The E10 can be had for around $280 US. So the E10 does take it in the price category. Now build volume, the CR10 definitely takes the E10. But something to consider. The E10 can be had for around $280 US. That's right at 1.6 cents per cubic centimeter of volume. The CR10 at $370 US, that's right at one cent per centimeter of volume. How easy are these two kits to build? Well, both these printers are what I call a 90% pre-built 3D printer kit. They take about an hour to get set up and get going. However, both printers did require some repair before they would turn out what I would call an acceptable 3D print. Granted, the E10 did require a lot more repair than the CR10, but after assembly, neither one were ready to go. So they both get red marks in this column. How about features? They both come with a part cooling fan. They pretty much both have the same type extruder and hot end setup. They both come with a sidecar electronics box. They do have slightly different electronics main boards, but probably not enough to matter to most users. They both have an aluminum heated bed. The CR10 does come with a glass sheet, but glass can have its drawbacks, so we'll call that even. They pretty much have the same features on both printers. Build quality. I'd say they're both pretty much the same. They're both sturdy, they both use lead screws, and they both have metal Y carriages. Neither one of these printers comes with a copy of the firmware, so you can adjust it if you need to. They are different types of firmware, but I'd say as far as easy to use, they're both the same. Noise. Both these printers mechanically are very quiet machines, so no issues there. The E10 does have a cooling fan on the breakout box that runs constantly and it's very noisy, so the CR10 definitely takes this category. Now print quality. Out of the box, the CR10 has zero flaws as far as print quality goes. Everything that I've tried to print came out looking great. On the E10, it has some Z-wobble issues. It will make the model look not so good or straight out fail. You can see the evidence of the wobble on this gear. It can probably be corrected, but it would take some tweaking. CR10 clearly takes this one. So let's see what the end result is here. Build quality is about the same on both machines. The CR10 is quieter. Print quality is better on the CR10. The E10 is cheaper, but the CR10 is probably a better value. Build size, CR10 is much larger. Firmware is about the same on both units. Assembly, both had issues and the features offered on both machines are very similar. The E10 is not a bad machine. It's very well priced and it has a nice size build volume. If you want a little larger printer with a pretty small price tag and you don't mind hacking and tweaking a little bit, then the E10 might be for you. Now if you want an even larger printer that requires minimal setup to get it printing very well, but costs a few more dollars, the CR10 might be your printer. At the end of the day, in my opinion, I'd go with the CR10 all the way, hands down. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts below and thanks for watching.